How do you feel when you discover something new? Does it get you so excited that you can't wait to see that new discovery happen again? I'm going to introduce you to a Sudoku strategy so exciting, you'll start to look for it in every hard puzzle you solve. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, where the kind of ones go here in block two? If a one, row two, and in row one, there's only two possibilities for the one. So I'm going to mark that using the Snyder notation. Anytime a three by three block, two possibilities for a candidate, you mark it. In case we solve one cell, we can solve the other right away. You need to find as much restriction as possible in this puzzle to set up our main strategy. You can also look for ones in block four. These two ones and this one, Snyder one's right there. And in block nine, this one and these two ones, put some Snyder ones. Nothing we can do with the twos as far as Snyder notation goes, but we can look with the threes here in block four. Two threes here. And then in block six, with these two threes, Snyder threes right there. Greetings, friend. Each Friday in May, I'm bringing you a featured selection from the Sudo Cult Gospel. Sam Kepelman Lines, Jovial, Phil Newman, and Shy, for the world's top setters, created the Sudoku Cult Gospel to teach you new and wonderful Sudoku strategies. Jovial created this puzzle, Oranges, specifically to teach you how to solve a new Sudoku strategy. Thank you so much, Jovial, for this fantastic puzzle. Now, where can the fours go in block three? So a four here and here. Only two possibilities for a four. I'll mark that. And then in block four, with these two fours and this four, Snyder fours right there. How about the fives? Looking for here in block one. Got a five here. We got these two fives. Snyder fives in block one. Over in block six with these two fives and this five. We'll mark them right there. And then in block eight with these two fives. Only two possibilities, Snyder fives in block eight. And now I'm going to give you a bonus tip here with the sixes. Where can a six go in block five? Since they can only be in these two spots, this is actually a pointing pair. Because the sixes have to be somewhere in block five and they're restricted to row five, a six cannot be anywhere else along the row. So you can't put sixes here or here anymore. Because if you did, you have no place to put a six in block five. All right, let's look at the sevens. With this seven and this seven, Snyder sevens in block two. Look over in block six with these sevens right here. And then in block seven, got this seven, covers this spot, nine or seven in row seven. We actually create a pointing pair of sevens. So then the sevens cannot be in these two spots or you have no place to put a seven in block seven. And then there's three spots for seven here. I won't mark those, I'll only mark two candidates remaining for Snyder notation so I don't accidentally solve cells that I should not. Uh, nothing we can do with the eights and we look at the nine maybe you're screaming at the beginning going hey timberlake i can solve this cell right here and yes you can because you have a nine here in column nine or row nine a nine in row eight and you have a nine right here so the only place left to put a nine is right there displacing that snyder five awesome job if you saw that before me but that is yes a hidden single nine that we can solve and then when we use the snyder notation to solve that four or five but by doing that, we can only do the more Snyder notation up here with the nines in block two. And then now with these nines, we can do some Snyder nines right here. And then that is it. We are what well, seems to be stuck. And Jovial did this on purpose. The best setters do telegraphing and they force you to get to that intended strategy. So you get here and go, hey, I'm stuck. Snyder notation can't get me any further. What do we have to do? Well, remember, What's the name of this puzzle? It's called oranges. And you probably notice there's a quite a bit of symmetry here in these outside blocks. Blocks one, three, seven, and nine. And if I color them orange, they kind of look like little oranges, don't they? Right? You got an orange here, 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 and here. And then you notice you have these individual cells right there. A lot of symmetry here that is intended for you to look at and find. And so where does it put the most pressure? It puts the pressure in these cells in the middle of our little oranges here. But what could this cell be? It could be a two, six, 
eight or nine. What about this cell? You see there's a one, three, five, and there's a nine down there. It can be a two, four, six, or an eight. Okay, what about this cell? Looks like you also have a one, three, five, seven, nine going in there. So that can be all evens, two, four, six, eight. And then in this cell also has this the case of one, three, four, five, seven, nine. So it can be a two, six, or an eight. Doesn't seem like much until you look for what this amazing strategy that Jovial intended. You have to also notice these cells right here. And I'll put those in purple. Because you have a two right there, two can't be in any of those spots. And so it restricts the twos to these two cells right here. So that's a conjugate pair. And I've talked about this. So a conjugate pair means two, only two of a candidate in a house. So either this is a two, if it's not a two, this has to be a two. You can understand that, right? Either I'm putting a two here, it's not there, has to be there, conjugate pair. This is the glue of advanced strategies. Well, because this four covers these three cells, a four can only be here or here. So you have a conjugate pair of fours in column eight. And because this six can't be in these three cells, six can only be here or here. So you have a conjugate pair of sixes across row eight. And then in column two, guess what? Because of that eight, can't be in those cells. They can only be in these two cells here as another conjugate pair. So we have four digits, a two, a four, a six, an eight, limited to these four cells. And they has to be, like a two has to be in one of these, right? Because that's the only place it can be in the row. Four has to be one of these, a six has to be one of these, eight has to be one of these. So you have four different digits, two, four, six, and eight, limited to four cells. This is the neat, cool, amazing strategy. It's called a multi-sector hidden set. MSHS. And what it means, just think of a hidden quad, a hidden quadruple of a two, four, six, and eight that falls into more than one house. So we know a two, four, six, and eight can only be in these cells, and they can only be one in each. We can make some eliminations within the cells, just like we make eliminations with a hidden pair. This is amazing stuff. And so what's going to happen is you kind of look right here and go, all right, I got a two here eight there you can't have the six or the nine because a two's got to be here here or here and an eight's got to be here or here all right so an eight's got to be in there or two's got to be in there nothing else can be in there and so now you look at the two and the four here this can't be a six or an eight right you put a six or an eight here you're going to run out of places to put the two and the four all right and then you got this four and six right there that means we can eliminate the two and the eight it's either going to be a four or six and then with the six and eight right here, you eliminate that too. Okay, you may notice that if you used uh, this particular multi-sector hidden set acts just like a nice continuous loop. So an alternate inference chain that repeats upon itself. Very, very cool stuff. Please, please, please let me, the other viewers, know what you did at this point of the puzzle. Did you find this? I'm trying to build the best Sudoku community on YouTube starts with your interaction. I value your comments so much, I respond to each and every one of them. Is this new to you? Did it blow your mind? Or did you find something similar to solve this puzzle? And I said you're going to love this so much you want to practice it more. I have a puzzle pack that you can practice it on. Jovial made a cityscape puzzle pack for me with all exclusive puzzles featuring multi-sector hidden sets. Click on the pinned comment to get this pack. And guess what? This pack is free for my Smarty Party members as well as the solutions video that I made for it. All right, let's look across row two and see what we can do now that we've eliminated those candidates in those four cells. Where can a nine go? Well, a nine can't be here anymore. And you have these two nines, so the only place for a nine in row two is right there. And we remove that mark. And now, what that creates is with this four, you have a pointing pair of fours right here, which limits the fours in block eight to right there. We got to do some real solving here. All right, how about in column eight, where can an eight go? Can't be here anymore. If these two eights, only place an eight can be is right there. It's a hidden single eight in the column. How about uh, ones here in block eight? You got this one cutting across. We have a pointing pair of ones right there. That's going to, 
This place that Snyder one and allows us to solve for a one in block nine. All right, and now with the twos, you'll notice that you can have a two in these two spots in row eight. These twos mean you can have a two here, but this cell has to be a two. And now let's look at this cell. What can it be now? It could be a one, but it can't be a two, three. It can't be a four because of the fours here or the pointing pair. It can't be a five or a six. It can't be a seven because of this pointing pair of sevens. And it can't be an eight or a nine. We actually have a naked single one right there. And so we can displace that Snyder one. Okay, now we can look in column four. Where can a seven go? All right, you got these two sevens here. The only place the seven goes right there, displacing that Snyder six. And because of the one, we can displace the Snyder one and solve for one here. That's going to leave us with a four six naked pair. And now we're going to get up to, I call it one of the key solves in this puzzle to get you some more progress. What can this cell be? It can't be a one or two. Three or four, six or nine can be a five, seven, or an eight. Well, I have a five and seven right there, so this is going to be an eight. And now our nice multi sector hidden set is going to crumble because of that eight. That's got to be a two. That's got to be a four. That's got to be your six. And that's got to be your eight. And now with this four, we can disambiguate the six four here in block two. All right, a little bonus tip here. You'll notice this is a naked triple because there's three candidates left in block five and they're in the same column so it's a lock triple which means a one three and a five cannot be anywhere else in the column because they have to be in one of these three cells and so we're looking for a five seven up here this cannot be a five anymore that has to be your seven and this is going to be your five and then what we created is a full house i don't have a seven in um Six, so that's got to be your seven. We're looking for a four right here. I got my eight right there. So here's your eight. Here is your four. Doing a lot of great solving here. I'm doing a little sweep in the block here. Now with these two eights, we can solve for an eight right there. With this four, we can solve for a four right there, leaving one candidate left. It is a two. So we can solve that for a two now. And then with two and this two, we can solve for a two right there. Uh, we can look in here and go, what do we need? We need two cells remaining. We've got a two and a five. I got two right there. So here's your two displacing that Snyder five. And then with these twos and this two, you can solve for a two right there. And then now you'll look across row seven, where can a two go? We just put a two right there. So that's gotta be your two. This is gonna be your four. Now we can do a little, I call following the Snyder. Displace the Snyder four right there. That's got to be a four. Displacing that Snyder three. Placing this Snyder three. So now this has to be your three in block six. Okay. And now we can do a little bit more solving here. You got the seven coming down. And so the only place for seven in block four is right there. With these two sevens, this has to be a seven. Or you could have just displaced that Snyder seven right there. Either way works. And now we can do a neat naked triple trick. We need a one, three, five here. I got a one and a five right there. Two of the three candidates look at one cell. One of those repeats, the five repeats right there. We can solve all three. Because the only place a five goes right there, it's got to be your three, and that's got to be your one. Let's place that Snyder one. We can put a one right there. I got a full house, so it's certainly I can solve this for a six, which means this has to be a nine. This place in our Snyder nine right there. So here's your nine. And here is your six. Okay, with this four, we know that can't be a four anymore, but we have a full house, so we can solve this for a six. And then we can look here and go, we just need an eight or a nine. Actually can't see that, but hey, why don't we displace the Snyder five and make that solve first. And then with the seven, displace the Snyder seven. So we can solve for a seven here, solve for the six here. And now with these two sixes and this six, Cross hatching is going to be always the easier way to go. So you can put a six right there. This is crazy. No three in the corner. This puzzle was done before three in the corner became a big thing here. All right. Looking for an eight or a nine. I got my nine there. I'm going to pull it up from block seven. So that's got to be your nine. That's got to be your eight. I don't see an eight in block three. So here's your eight. And the last digit is a nine. This was not the first puzzle of Jovials that I solved from the Stokolt Gospel. 
See if you can spot her featured strategy in this next video. Thank you so much for watching.